think everything's all good here. Just checking one final little thing just to make sure. Oh, what was this? And what I'm checking is I got accepted into a group for streaming stuff. And want to make sure it's working right. Oh, I don't know if it is. Oh, yep, there it is. Okay, it's actually working. Yay! Pretty happy about that. Okay. Which you may see underneath the stream that I got accepted into a streaming group called Furries on Twitch. Which is really cool, actually. It's one of the, one of the places that I was advertising my stream. They had like an enrollment thing for becoming part of their crew. So I applied and actually got it. Okay. So what was I doing? Oh, yeah, I just fought the enemies in here and opened that. Oops, this was the pathway in there, yeah. A couple of mega turrets, yep. Ooh, what's this? Belizium. No shut off switch. There is a shut off switch. Oh, that's useful. I'm just gonna blast this thing, see if I can't uh, get some missiles from it. Smartest idea. Especially standing that close and not taking cover. Not making that mistake again. These things are really hard. Well, that's good to know. Is that? Oh, that's the light. Invisible space pirate. I thought that felt a little too easy. Shadow Pirates in here. Any other heat signatures? Not that I can see. Oh, that's just pure Faison down there. Well, I guess this is the Faison mine. I can't 
do anything with that yet. Crystal Nexus. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, it is booming out there. Probably won't get one loud enough this time to actually show up on to actually be heard on uh, audio. Or on the stream. Because this mic is really good at noise cancellation. There's more in here, isn't there? Oh, the elemental ones. Okay. Let me, let me scan. Wave Trooper, armored with wave beam technology. They've reverse engineered several of your weapons, including the wave beam. A flaw in the design makes these parts vulnerable to their own beam weapon system. These weapons are inferior to your chosen design originals, but are still quite potent. about the armor that's only damaged by the beams. Uh. Okay. I forgot about them. Jeez, it's been a while since I ran into those. Make sure to check around for anything suspicious. Those good mugs in place. Keeps face part life signs only. Okay, sir, so there is a path that goes down, but it looks like based on the map that I do not have the game for that. Hold a shadow trooper. Any more? No. Remember that thing in the tank right there is a secret boss. Or an optional one? Elite Pirate Alpha. Say this thing called reinforced, reinforced with Bendesium alloy plates. I think if I fight this one, I get an energy tank. It's really tough. The RAM battle systems for elite pirates are as follows. Shoulder mounted plasma, artillery cannon, repulsion shield, wave quake projector, energy siphon system, and retractable wrist bayonets. Be great to lock 
That sounds about right. Encrypted and decoded. Initial project Helix experiments with space pirate embryos were disastrous. Phase 1 infusion process degenerated the brain tissue even as it augmented muscle mass. None of what we have termed elite pirates lived to maturity. The few that survived their infanthood suffered severe psychotic breakdowns as juveniles, killing anything within their zone of perception. Research team Slara made a recent breakthrough in which parasite studies with a phazon strain code named Vertigo were highly successful. Since then, we have successfully fused Vertigo phazon with space pirate DNA with great success. These batch of elite pirates have reached maturity successfully and are ready for field testing and training. Another one right here. Oh, just to activate the platforms. I felt like there'd almost be something else there. And I'm guessing that's the way out. Yeah. Yeah, this buddy, elite space pirate. I think there's only ever like two of these that you fight in the game and one of them is this guy or maybe it's only one and yeah it's uh that's not good Get zapped, get zapped, get zapped. Okay, if I'm one on one, I can just go straight in off that. If there's multiple, I need to use the beam. Which, I'm a little surprised that there's... That, that didn't activate any space pirate music. Could just be this room's a little different. Yeah, they do a ton of damage, though. So that buddy, once I do eventually fight him, he'll probably be able to take out an energy tank per hit. Okay, what's this one? Security alert all stations. Bioform status... Oh, Bioform Samus Aaron has made planet fall on Talon 4. The hunter is among us. All units are hereby ordered to attack Aaron on site. Term Terminal force is authorized. Report all settings of our into security command at once. So yeah, it's literally just Oh, what are you? Power Trooper. Power Beam Tech. Waterworld Field Beam Morphism. Okay. Let's see if I can't just get you. Kind of scary in this game that they actually managed to reverse engineer Chozo Tech. Pulse Beam. Well, that's interesting. Did 
the hell? I don't think any Space Pirates have been able to do that before. Well, that's um, kind of scary. Super Centuria at 13%, further pulse beam exposure could cause collapse. 42, thermal power signature detected. Cause collapse. 8% collapse. 31% collapse. Okay, so I want to open all these. Additional units report to your battle stations. Failure to comply with this order is an act of treason. Treason is punishable by termination. I'm guessing this is what fires up. Oh, auto firing mode. Well, that's definitely the middle. Yeah, that's the way to there. I know at least one of these has an item in it. Oh. Never scanned that one. Which I think I can have it fire at me, but if I do it one shots me. Check all of these. Because one of them may have an item. Was it really just this one? Alright, let's see. Expansion. Huh. Out of all those, only one of them had an item. Really? Oh well. Not that bad. Oh, hello. I just lost two energy tanks pulling that stun. That's not good. I can find another one. And it would have been best before running into more power troopers. Because these are the strongest ones. Okay, at least I know which one of those is the actual thing. Oh, and I'm gonna have to like rescan all of these guys. Not gonna be fun. What just hit me? Hi.
charge twice, they just draw. Or, well, charge them, missile them. Troopers popped in. Yep, okay. Get the scanner ready. If they group up on me like that, I should just be using that. Okay, let's try that again. Or, not that specifically, but next thing. Ooh, what is this? Bendesium Blast Gate. Of course it is. So I can't move through that door until I have a power bomb, basically. with the thermal visor. But I'm not going to keep that on too long just because again I remember some people get headaches from it so I don't want to make an experience that would cause some people actually harm. The ice beam ones are, I think, the toughest ones, not the power beam. And if I remember correctly, the reason why is they they're not able to be frozen. Yep, come on. Good thing I got so many. Well, it's a good thing I actually got the ability for that. Okay, what else? What else? What else? Um. I think the Ice Beam one was somewhere that required a freaking what is it? Powerball. So I can't even do that one yet. Yep. Scan, scan. Oh no. 
the power beam tripper. Manually aim like this and bang. Okay, that's actually worthwhile. Wait, did he drop? Menu map says no. Or not mini map. Uh, what's the thing called? The radar. Okay, yeah, so I have to break that one and that one. Okay. I think I remember this one would constantly fight you. Like, when you moved it, it would try to lock into a position. Okay, I think it's there. Ah, uh, that should hit. Oh, that hit right in the middle. Awesome. Even missiles. this time so I don't end up taking a ton of damage. There we go. Save two energy tanks by doing that. And I'm not almost dead this time. Okay, so we have a lot of power beams. Yep. are actually the cheapest to kill. Huh. Because that electric beam takes so long. Oh, what is this? Control panel in the room contains several rotating sections, can be moved to gain access to different areas. Rotation of the pillar will alter the path of its magnetic rail tracks. Oh, right. This puzzle. Okay, so I want to get up here first. Which is blue. Okay, so I need to get track blue. Yeah, that's pretty easy. Alright. Now from up here, I need to get to where? Oh, right. This will let me get the next section rotated. Which is for section red, I think. Yeah, red. down here and make sure red is correctly aligned. There we go. I 
like these simple puzzles because they're just a nice little break from some of the tougher combat stuff of some of these enemies. Oh, speaking of... Oh. Bendizium. Okay. Oh, I swear I better get something there. I never scanned one of these. Uh oh. Did I first just scan the bombers after I died? These things are pretty easy. Why is someone higher up? Oh, that's interesting. Why is there one higher? Secret pathway. Yeah, what is someone protecting up there? Huh. Feels like possibly a secret item. Could just be there to mess with you. Sometimes do that. Oh, access to Phase of Mines level 2 granted. That should do a bit better here. Been a lot more careful. Then Got the down in. That one actually came through. <laughs> that rumble actually came through, damn. Oh. Who's this place part hiding in that vent? Oops. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> I think he was whole, like hiding right here to ambush me. A little bad for just blasting him like that. Oh, this is the guaranteed fight. Oh, wow, no save stations. 
that's... Well, hopefully I don't die. Because I think this is the one that breaks out. Please on hand space pirate, incredibly strong, armored, and well armed. Elite pirates are potent foes. Their energy siphon system absorbs beam weapon shots. The nature of the system makes them vulnerable to concussive based weapons. Okay, so use missiles. Well armed, the elite pirate is effective in close combat and at a distance. Massive size can be a weakness, and their sluggish speed allows for evasion and quick attacks. Shipment military grade plasma artillery cannons is on route to Talon 4. The Genoid Star Marines we acquired from them were letting them sit in a warehouse. Elite pirates, on the other hand, will put them to good use very soon. Investigations into a possible ingress point for the impact crater continued to meet with failure. A shield of strange energy that protects it is impermeable, and all attempts to tunnel past it have proven fruitless. Our continued futility in this matter is made all the more significant in light of the recent lifeform readings. We discovered emanating from deep within the crater. <coughs> Analysis of the readings indicate that a massive creature is gestating there, absorbing enormous amounts of phazon from the phazon core at the heart of the impact crater. This discovery makes accessing the crater doubly important. Not only will it open the door to the vast deposits of phazon within, but it will also lead us to this creature, whatever it may be. Yeah, and they'd be able to study its genealogy to see how it was able to survive in Phazon for so long. Security command issued in all points and all points alert after the fall of Zebes. The alert concerns Bioform Samus Aaron, also known as the Hunter. Subjects is heavily armed and extremely dangerous. Subject uses powered armor suit of unknown design in battle, along with a number of potent beam and concussive weapons. All combat units are instructed to terminate Eren on sight, preferably in a fashion that will allow salvage overpowered armor suit and weapons. A considerable bounty will go out to the unit who delivers Eren to command. Dead or alive, it matters not. So, yeah. That's one of the interesting things, and the reason why they don't just try and vaporize her is because they want to reverse engineer her suit. First, we'll begin the activation core for access. Yeah, I'm not going up there, am I? Okay, plasma artillery cannon. You guys have extreme thermal signature due to lack of shielding. Extension to energy siphon system solid performance. Avoid beam weapons fire when energy siphon is active. Point blank and blast in the back. So 
Did I just eat? Oh! Don't try and attack my mountain, just wait a second. easier than I expected. I guess I'm gonna hit him with a ton of super missiles, but still. Please enter to your van. Elite pirate rations processing in progress. If that wasn't a full one. Yeah, that was probably just a partial. Security level Tau will be in effect until further notice. All leaves cancelled pending downgrade of alert status. Consumption of elite nutrient mix by non-elite units is strictly prohibited. Failure to comply will result in a 50% rationing reduction for a deck cycle. Which, if I can... So depending on how cycle is used, it can either mean a day, a cycle of the moon, like of all moon phases, or a full year. So it could be 10 phases of the moon, 10 days, or 10 years. Battleform Samusarin continues to assault our holdings on Talon 4. Security has been compromised in multiple areas. Casualty rates are rising. Command has authorized a sizable bounty for the capture or termination of Aaron. Report to your field officers for details. Yeah, because as far as they know, they're just kind of doing their thing and then Samus shows up. Even though what they're going to do is going to be disastrous for anyone that's not them, and including them, it's just like disastrous for everyone. Science team is attempting to reverse engineer Samus Aran's arsenal based off of data acquired from our assaults on our forces. Progress is slow but steady. Command would dearly enjoy turning Aran's weapons against her. We believe we can implement beam weapon prototypes in three cycles. Aaron's power suit technology remains a mystery, especially the curious morph ball function. All attempts at duplicating it have ended in disaster. Four test subjects were horribly broken and twisted when they engaged our morph ball prototypes. Science team wisely decided to move on afterward. Which, there is actually explanation how she's able to use the morph ball and it's if I remember right it's because of her Chozo DNA oh is that ice cream the freeze them, they're just dumb for them. Huh. I need to find a save room and there's probably one up there. the ice ones couldn't be frozen. Huh. Oh well. 
Evaluation of plasma artillery cannons is complete. The weapons are fully functional, but a flaw has been discovered. Subpar thermal shielding gives them a high heat signature. This could make them easier to target for enemies with enhanced vision capabilities. Wait, what? Oh, interesting. Oh, so if I have my thermal visor on, I can get rid of the plasma cannon on the elite pirates. Interesting. Security alert. Computer systems compromised. Battleform Samus Aaron has cracked our systems. The hunter can access our system at will and is able to bypass most of our security programs. Use manual locking systems when possible. Again, as far as it goes for them, she's an unstoppable force. Like, she's actually kind of terrifying. Because all of their security things, yep, yeah, her suit just has workarounds for everything. Facility commands request for elite pirate transfer to security forces granted. Prepare units EPG 8644 and EPG 8656 for field duty at once. Telemetroid aggression levels are rising. Be alert for any attempts by telemetrics to escape from quarantine areas. Their energy absorption ability is not able to disrupt our force fields, but continued exposure to phase on may change things for the worse. So stop exposing them to phase on. Reports on hunter activity are in. Analysis indicated that the hunter is using morph ball technology to infiltrate our facilities. Recalibrate sensors to search for more fall energy signatures. So yeah, when faced with the one who like destroyed their entire operation on Zerbis. And I think also destroyed their planet. They're just like all scrambling because it's like, oh no, she's here. Results are in from field studies on the bioform group Chozo, who we believe are extinct. Who we believe are extinct. We believe that Talon Four was once a stronghold in a great Chozo empire. Brought low by the meteor strike. Planetary devastation brought an end to the Chozo, yet remnants of their society remain. We're studying these relics in an attempt to harness their power. What is of no use to us, we destroy. In time, we shall have all we need from this dead race, and shall wipe this planet clean of their ugly ruins. The dead should serve the living, not hinder them. Although we are still no closer to finding the artifacts of the Chozo, we have at least produced a viable hypothesis for their function. It appears that each of the artifacts corresponds to one of the statues on the temple platform, and that each one acts as a small key to a huge lock. Judging by the number of statues, we assume there must be 12 artifacts. Once we find the resting spots of all 12, we can bring them here. Unite them with their statues and open the gate system at long last. Once we do, the impact crater and whatever creature it shelters will be ours for the taking. Phase unabused fungal harvesting continues. Replacement of Deca Tridacale with phase on infused fungal matter in elite ration mix has been. Authorized. Security request deployment of elite pirates in Metroid quarantine areas. The high casualties suffered by standard pirate units deployed in Metroid areas is not acceptable. Reconfiguration of security drones authorized. Deploy new drones to mission critical areas immediately. Let's do it offline. And final bit of data here. Space Pirate encrypted data decoded. 
We have come to another dead end. It is clear now that we will never discover the location of the Chosen's artifacts until we can decipher the messages carved into the statues in this abominable temple. Our language databases are woefully inadequate, and our linguistic, linguistic analysts, analysts can come up with little more than vague theories. The best hypothesis that we can offer is that finding artifacts will require items spiritually linked to the Chozo civilization. However, without these items we are lost, and command grows more impatient by the day. Results must be produced soon. I don't know, there's another couple things here. There have been numerous incidents involving spherical and ent spectral entities at Chozo Ruin sites. Several personnel have been assaulted by these Chozo ghosts. Few have survived. Survivors speak of swift attacks from nowhere, brief sightings of the enemy, then nothing, only to be followed by another attack. Science team believes these attacks are in response to our efforts to recover Chozo relics and artifacts. Somehow, these entities are able to interact with the physical world, and it appears they wish to keep their artifacts to themselves. We'll make them pay for such arrogance, for even ghosts can be destroyed. Report any signs of rational rejection by elites at once. Increased praise on portion of elite pirate ration by 18%. Planetary stealth technology is back online. Planetary stealth technology. We have evaded detection by the battle cruiser Emmons. The brief lapse in planetary security caused by the crash of our frigate is over. Now we can concentrate our, our efforts on the hunter. Interesting. Placement of standard hatch covers continues. Steel covers will, re will be replaced with cordite and vendesium covers in two decade cycles. Analysis continues on these cursed ruins and the Chozo temple that hovers near them. We're now completely certain that the containment field denying us access to the impact crater is linked to strange artifacts that belong in the temple, but we're no closer to finding them or deciphering the riddles that seem to cover every wall of this ruined place. Command grows increasingly anxious for a resolution to this matter, so we must redouble our efforts. X-ray squ squadrons will begin terrain sweeps within days. Until they begin, patrols are instructed to report any and all architectural anomalies to their commanders. Adrian? Ooh, not a save room, but I know it's here. I can't really mess with it just yet. Okay, gotta go back down here, I guess. Um, maybe this pathway will lead to a save room? Hopefully. Where am I? No, not even close. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Please don't have respawned enemies. I went backwards. Respawn, don't have respawn. Crap! Uh. 
Okay, what's in here? That's Cordite. Oh, hello. There's the last one. Or not Cordite, Bendizia. And how I know that is... Oh, hello there. Yeah, how I know that is it was in that shaft. Looks similar to that other stuff I can break yet. And, well, I bombed it and nothing happened. Hmm? Bunch of poppers, huh? Okay, can't do that yet. I can have to get some access, which is proved by security. My trades are not responding to synthetic sustenance. We have reason to believe they only gain nourishment from active bioenergy sources. Is that another one? There's two of them. Uh, how do I get back up? Huh. I don't want to scan stuff in here because I have a feeling I'll release them. Scramble all aerial units immediately. Flight patterns in four is in effect. Increase bomber patrols in authorized areas. Test results from battle simulations. Samus Aaron are promising. Elite units report a 74% success ratio in against Aaron in testing. High command is pleased, but expects a higher ratio by project's end. So, these elite pirates were designed specifically to kill Samus. Our enemies will tremble before the might of our elite forces. Unauthorized telemetric feeding is strictly prohibited. Death to the hunter, death to all who oppose us. Elite pirate Upsilon's prosperity for Phazon has enabled our research team to infuse it far beyond our safety restrictions. And the results have been extremely encouraging. Its constant phase on denial has increased its mass exponentially, but it has retained all mental faculties, 
and shows dexterity with all elite weaponry, including plasma incendiary launchers. And the Chameleon Manto. Issued for cloaking purposes, Elite Pirate Upsilon exhibits miraculous healing abilities. When injured, it seeks out Phazon deposits and coats itself with the substance, which instantly mends the creature's wounds. A subject, which we are codenaming Omega Pirate, based on these developments, shows potential to be a new standard for our armies. Only concern, at this point, is its potential over-dependence on Phazon. It's another one? Oh, Krausley tank damaged. So with the damage, maybe it died in there? Available troopers report to mine security command. Let's see here. Oh, right, I can't actually see heat through there. Uh, it's moving, so it's probably alive. Glass Mendesium wall section is structurally unsound. Okay, I can't go there yet. Science team is accepting volunteers for advanced weapon training. Guess I go here and I'm not gonna be attacked. Okay, I wasn't. Oh my gosh, how many elite pirates are around here? Nearby energy flux has caused malfunction in this panel. Crossley tank unit CS44668R. 64, Unit modified for elite pirate storage. So maybe they're just in indefinite cryo sleep for now? Those are stealth drones. Dynamo maintenance team not responding to service call, rerouting across the central command. Phase on processing and security systems are taxing the dynamo beyond safety tolerances. Though the conversion to geothermal power is easing the drain on our systems, it is not enough. Further power use at current levels could lead to system failure. Multiple safety system malfunction detected. The unit should be taken offline immediately. Oh, is that an upgrade down there? Looks like it may be. Wait, did these things not give off a heat seeker? Oh, they don't give off a heat signature. That's... A little scary. Wait, am I not going to be able to scan this? I got a shot here. That's interesting. Oh, the electrical maze.
Entire ships with dynamo workers have been transfer transferred following bouts of phase on madness. Units have reported to science team for use in laboratory studies and the new elite pirate program. Their dementia will make them adequate training adversaries for the elite team. Keeping up pets has been suspended until further notice. Domestic beasts have been deemed highly susceptible to phase on madness and are thereby a hazard to personnel. All grown cats and old maps must be disposed of immediately. Failure to comply will result in the loss of pay for a cycle and reduced rations. Like any other things, no. Oh, right here. Literally nothing. Wow. Gotta be very, very careful. Oh, that does damage. Is it straight down? No, it's to the left. Is that phase one? something susceptible to bombs, which made me reroute the power. Interesting. above to go below or no it is above ow given that this is a morpho maze I'm guessing this is a power bomb Yep, that seems like the power bomb. Hello, Morphal Blood. Press R to release the power bomb. It can destroy tougher materials than Morphal Bombs. Which, if I remember right, in these games. Oh no, they do have a limited ammo. Huh. Come on, save station. Please? Oh my gosh, finally. Play all of that up to the power bomb. What's this? Both of my turns are flat line. Oh, I see. <laughs> and 
turn off. Pirates, maybe? Fungal environment fluid processing levels normal. Studies indicate decreased aggression between elite pirates and irradiated metroids. Probably because they both have phase on in them. Science can believe the infusion of phase on in these units may be forming some type of symbiosis between them. Further studies are underway. Fusion of phase on into local fungi is proceeding. This program has produced a cheap, viable ration for many of our phase on enhanced units on Talon 4. A mass production program has been authorized. Suspension of synthetic Metroid rations has been ordered. Synthetic Metroid rations to be replaced by live bioenergy sources. On that date. Warning. Force field disengaged. Metroid containment area will be breached. Oh, oops. kind of bad for that. That was accidental. Okay, back to reading. <laughs> Security is now accepting volunteers for hunting parties. Target is Bioform Samusarian, also known as the Hunter. Yeah, so that's why they're all over the place looking for me. Yeah, they don't need any reason to try and take Samus down because, well, she pretty much destroyed their home planet. Like, what other reason could there be? Science team reminds all personnel to refrain from antagonizing Metroids. Severe penalties will be enforced for all violations of this order. Wait. So they had personnel just antagonizing the Metroids until they attacked? Okay. Synthetic Metroid aggression makes processing in progress. Oh, that's Power Bomb now. Explode Power Bomb with one ground of ammo. So, do I only get three? Oh, I don't know if there's power bomb tanks in this one. Oh, spectral analysis complete. Well, I can't go through there without the power bomb. Oh, right. This room has a ton of invisible platforms. And some of them are moving. So I actually have to go back. Go get that thing. I 
I guess I'll go on this path. I'll, um... Oh, hi, what are you? All ice? Sam has had melee stuff in this game. I could freeze them and run up and smash them. Which I'd love it if they added a melee function to the Or even like the counter function if they have it now. Uh... The remake of two and what was the other one? Um, Dread. save, and hopefully there won't be more enemies out there. Because I didn't waste any missiles there. Only used my beam. Okay, it no, looks like I'm good. So I've got to go back up, go all the way up to the overworld. Wow. How egregious the platforming was, or not the platforming, the backtracking. But then again, this was their first 3D Metroid game. So they were trying to figure out a pattern. Hi. Using thermal. Yeah, using thermal I can go for that. I forgot about that. Like, that is so cool. something special for doing that. I think it just gets rid of the cannon, making it harder for me to hit you because you're going to keep using the energy. Come on. Got a hundred. Not what I absolutely needed, but eh, it's worth it. Oh, you came from this one. Okay. Just had a feeling about that for some reason. It's 
find that I was wrong. Come on, missiles. Or nothing, that's fine. the map room. Well, wow, finally. That's something special, ain't it? Maybe if I take that higher one to go back in. Hmm. Okay, this is a shortcut. Interesting. Did I? Whoa! That's a massive section down there. Let me look here. What do save stations look like on the map? Just a little box. I don't see any of those around there. Dang. Oh my gosh, is there not even one all the way down there? Wow, this is a brutal area. Oh, I can go back through that path now. Okay. Oh, what is this? Air flowing from a Bendy's in great. Controller stored, fans online, and clearing gas. Okay. All of them hitting that broke open the energy tank. All right. Interesting. Only missing three now. Okay. So they're not acting yet. Hey, I got a couple of my bombs back. Good. So I'm gonna need them. I love the 
effect of this beam pulling, like, you can see it pulling in moisture from the air and freezing it. So many little details. Oh, hi. Yes, okay. Red had Bendesium in the way. die. Oh. I see a thrust over platform. So you can can see them kind of with this visor. Interesting. I eh, might be able to get up there using this. Hopefully, I don't need the x ray visor. easier. Um, up that way? Crap. That'd be useful. Possibly for something later. I'm going to go up first here. Send a couple of passes this way. Oh. Freeze plus one super missile actually did it. Good to know. There's a door up there. Doesn't seem this doesn't seem that bad. This one may actually be made to be gotten right now. I think I need the grapple beam, or maybe not. Yes. 
Not yet. Magmore Cell. Okay. So I remember there being a section of Magmore that led down there. But I forgot where it was. Huh. Where am I in Magmore? I have a feeling I know. This is the other side of that debris that I kind of break, isn't it? Yep. Oh, I just realized something. Is that busted pipe in Magmore? Ooh, was that busted pipe in Magmore? I think yes. Oh, it's around here somewhere. There was one of those corridors I was going through and it had cracked glass that said it was Vendesium. Or maybe that was in the overworld. Oh, hey. One trip. to these guys to call them uh, to equate them to stormtroopers or anything because they actually have really good aim. Those things were employed in Star Wars. Uh, yeah, they might. The uh, kind of heroes of the story may have not ever won. Oh, I think that's it. Transport Tunnel B. Yep, that is a transport tunnel. South Floor Tunnel? Core Tunnel. North Core Tunnel. Oh, where is that one I could blow up? I could probably blow up that statue now, because I should have everything for that. Wasn't it in Transport Tunnel A? Wasn't that, wasn't this far back? Hmm. No, I don't think it was down here. It may have been up in Talon, because I think it was in a pathway that had plants. Or water. Oh, what am I from Ventrana? That is not where I thought that elevator went. I thought it was that one of the Chosen Ruins ones. Hmm. Alright, 
So I'm gonna head that way instead of going through Fendrana. I'm not sure there's any Vendezza stuff that I can actually deal with right now. I don't remember much of Drawn until I have the heat beam. Which I think is the plasma beam. The reason why I'm so unsure is I, I kind of forget what beams are in this game. Elevator brings me up to the upper one. Got it. Just go straight along the path. This one's supposed to be there to try and block the missile. Oh wait, I just realized something. I don't have stuck under these anymore. Transmissions intercepted. Well, why didn't you tell me this when I was in the mines? I'm an idiot. The thing that I was missing was the power bomb. Why were you telling me about something that wasn't in the mines? Come back through here. I'm supposed to be able to use those grapple platforms about me. So sometimes getting directors in this game feels like a shitty driving instructor. They're like, hey, do this. Well, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do that. Up I didn't mean for you to do that now. I meant to do it later.
Or just the whole, hey, I know you were, which for me, when I, when I learned how to drive, I did a bit of a uh, program for it, because a lot of my family is just very busy and they didn't have time to teach me. So, went through a program for it, and you didn't always get the same teacher. And one of them, oh my gosh. <laughs> like, the main one I had was this really nice guy that, you know, actually wanted people to learn. Then I'd also get other people. Like one guy who was younger than me and treated me like shit because I didn't have my license. Or didn't have my life as put together as him. Like, crap like that. This one lady who showed up and she was hung over. Which already like okay, that's a That's a bit of a red flag immediately. And the main person who I was learning from had taught me how to park in spaces in a very specific way. I start doing it the way that I was taught, and she stops me and tries to teach me a completely different way of doing it. Guess who wasn't the one to give me my, like, actual final with it? Her. She wasn't the one to give me my final was did. So, all of that info got mixed up. And I made a fool out of myself. Because of this one person. It was also trying to have me, like, pull impossibly tight turns. Like, where you would just jack the wheel all the way to the side, and the car wouldn't be able to take a turn that sharp. It would overshoot. So, I did what any sensible person did. I backed up a little bit. And then promptly got yelled at for backing up. It's not as bad as the one guy who forced me to drive on the freeway and then screamed at me the whole time I was driving on the freeway. Which, that was the one who screamed at me while I was driving on the freeway, was uh, also the one that treated me like shit, because, like, just in general, 
Just because I didn't have my stuff as together as he did. Going on that subject. <laughs> okay, I guess in conclusion of that, there are just some people who should not be allowed to teach anything. Let alone be someone who screams at someone while in a vehicle when you're going speed limit on the freaking freeway. cause an accident because that's how you do it oh grapple beam Which, yeah, one of the dumb things that, like, I was screamed at over. Was, like, I had to pull into the next, basically into the lane next to me so I could, uh, you know, make an exit. There was a car directly next to me and a car, like, directly in front of me. So, what are you supposed to do in that? To where you can't speed up to get ahead of the car next to you. There's plenty of room behind you. And you need to get over now. Well, you slow down. Which is what any reasonable person would realize. So I slowed down a little bit to get to actually get in the spot. For him to start screaming at me again. Because I slowed down on the freeway. And didn't just ram into the person next to me. Which, mind you, he couldn't see because, well, he was in the passenger seat and not in the driver's seat. Conduit activated on the crane. It's most likely located near the control cabin on the other side of the room.
Transfer to building materials is complete. No, transfer of building materials. Processing of materials for Xenome containment units underway. Uh, report all phase on mutations to science team immediately. All units within useful mut mutations, or with useful mutations, will receive an increase in pay and rations. Elite and trooper candidates are now being selected by command. The crane controls are functional but require power. If power conduit is nearby, lots of electrical energy will enter as the conduit and restore power to the crane. There we go. Power restored. Did I put out some under? No, uh, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Yep, current turning. Oh, right, the whole crane thing was for a missile tank. I forgot about that. Because it really seems, like, very important. Or missile expansion, not missile tank. I keep calling them that. Well, actually, I've said why before. It's just weird that stuff sticks in your mind like that. Okay, so that room is locked off by a red block. Okay. Oh. Okay, now I go down. Okay. Yeah, quarantine alpha, I can't do anything with right now because I need the x ray visor. Okay, so now I think I go down. Which was what? Going to green, going down. Then going down to red. And then into that room. Got it. Green, red, out. Green is above me, straight ahead, and the upper one on the left in that room. Oh, will this, uh, no. How do I get back up there? Is there a way for me to turn the crane again? Wait, what's this? Oh! That brings me to the overworld. Okay, that's quite a bit quicker. 
Yes, please. Okay. Sense radiation detected. I know. Yeah, I know what that radiation is. I think they can't freeze anything with this. Like, any actual. Oh, wait, no, in three, that was fuel that you were able to freeze. Not just regular liquid. Maybe there was actual liquid you could freeze as well. Hmm. But again, this isn't free, this is the first one. Keep comparing it to one that it's not. Crazy how much they advanced it. Which the insane amount of advancements they've made in like each game is kind of the reason why I'm so excited to see if I could end up getting Prime 2 somehow. And yeah, if they, if they do end up remastering it, I'll probably hold off on trying to emulate it. Because I'd prefer have an actual legal copy of the game. Because that's a game I've never owned. Which that's kind of my policy on, like, if I emulate something, is it's a game that I've previously owned. Case, yeah, I, I paid them for a copy of the game. It kind of ends up being their word versus mine on if it's actually a regular copy or a emulation. There we go. Hey, your missile expansion, nice. Wait, isn't there an actual pathway in here? Yeah, there it is. Oh. Wait, I could have sworn that I had to fight ghosts for this. Huh. Okay, X ray visor. Which I love the X ray visor so much. Because. Damn, this looks cool. Let's 
also let's see here. Yeah, Samus actually does move her hand to be in separate positions for which beam she's using. That is so cool. Where are you, Bendizium? something. So yeah, this thing right here, which looks like it's tied to something, is apparently something to tell you to do this. There is no indication of that. The reason why it's dumb is because of what's behind it. It's not something that you can choose to get or not and it not affect your progress in the game. No, it's something required to complete the game. You know, the fact that you only have three power bombs at any given time. Like, at the absolute maximum. Kind of makes you not want to waste them if you don't need to use them. I'll even look here. Uh, so which one was that? There's one here. Secondary items? No. Comfort scan buzzer. What am I missing? Oh, no, it's the logbook. Okay. Artifacts. So it was the top one right there. Chozo. Let's see what the uh, clue was for Chozo. And why this one's a little BS. Oh, what? Oh, you can't review the hint afterwards. Okay. Let me, let me find it. Yeah, it just says, in one of Talon's far corners, a grove of life lies. Reveal the pillar beneath the waves to find the artifact of Chozo. Like. Okay. But everything besides that right there. I think in the whole game, is able to be scanned to tell you what it's made out of. 
for you to know that, oh, you can break this. So yeah, out of, out of all those artifacts, that is the... That is the only one I really have a gripe with. see them at all times. Really? Once you get blasted and don't do that. Right, so we're missing some fat. There we go. And of course I bet. Yeah, it's like if you read into that thing perfectly and start bombing every square inch of everything underneath the water, even though, yeah, you wouldn't normally do that. Then you get what you're looking for. Yeah, like I said, that's that's probably my main gripe with this game is just that one artifact because it's just not well done and it's required to get to the end of the game. Which I guess that's just it is that it's because it's required and it's very convoluted if you don't know the path already so that's the temple uh, maybe this transport tunnel Oh, not the root tunnel. Oh, uh, where is that? Okay, I'm gonna figure this out real quick. spreader that's what it was called oh it is a magmore caverns magmore caverns shore tunnel
Caverns and the tunnel. Yeah, I know. Okay. Optimal upgrade is found in the Magmore Caverns Shore Tunnel. Well, I can go a little bit of a longer path and go to Magmore. Which would require me going, what, back here? Oh, that would require me going through the ship. Oh, uh, what if I go into the Chosen Ruin South? Would that be faster to get to Magmore? Most likely, I think. Because this... The only reason I want to do this is this upgrade is really, really good. Okay, missile room... I can get something up here now, actually, because I can go through the grapple rooms. So I can actually go in here and get these items. Okay. Plaza. The only thing I'm missing at this point is the last suit upgrade, I think. Oh, and a beam. Should I make the whole path to get the ice spreader or go for the beam? Wait, I think this one puts me past the ship. Okay, that might be faster. To get down to back more. So yeah, I, I really want the ice spreader. Like, I really want the ice spreader. This way. Brings me past the ship. Go straight through to the right. Come down here, and that's Magmore. Oh, yeah, that's fast. I hope. It should be. Feels like a secret spot. Q. 
keep somehow freezing them to posing. Oh, wait, I was able to get that without using the graphic thing. Which, if I remember, is the... Wait. Why do I have four bombs now? What? Do I have a specific cap and I just started with three? Hold on. Refill all my ammunition. Okay, I guess I have four. It's based off of how much missiles I have. A little odd though. Hmm. Yeah, I think the ice spreader and the other abilities are the easiest to miss. Is the wave beam when you have to go into that tower, anyways? So you'll most likely find it. And the super missile is literally required for progression. So it said it was in Shore Tunnel. Straight through here. Apparently. Get away, man. Here's the tunnel. Ice spreader. Which, if I remember, is a machine gun of ice. Yeah, it uses ten. This one is um, kind of powerful. Oh, no, it's that. It's the, it's literally an ice super missile that can shatter just about anything. 
right. Ooh, a test subject. Oh, no, I think you can freeze anything. It just does a ton of damage. Or it hits ice in a very large area? It was something like that. Yeah, one of those. I know it was one of those at least. By the way, I got the ability. And I'll finally be able to get underneath this Chozo statue. So we may as well do that. Which I can't remember if it said it was Cordite or Bendesia. Bendesia, okay. It says it's been these Whoa, well, what is that? Power Bomb expansion. So there are Power Bomb expansions. Huh. Don't I remember those? Weird. Okay, now to go back to the phase lines. Oh, wrong way. go all the way through anyways, so may as well just go through, get that save room. And get whatever health back that I'm just using up here. Go up nice and straight across. Yep, don't have to worry about all that platforming now. Because I got a grapple. So fun. Like, the grapple beam is really fun in this game, but in Crime 3, it feels like it has weight to it. At least that's the feeling that I don't like. Wee. I 
Oh, not a ball. Oh, there's the puzzle puzzle music. Okay. What? Ow. Those platforms are in working order. Survival grapple point. It's an activation. So I'm back in here now. Is there any way for me to get up there? Oh. I'm supposed to double jump over here. Not that. There we go. And my button press didn't go through. Click the jump button, my character just sat there and fell. That looks like there's a slight bit of lag. So that could have been what happened. Just some weird input lag. Which, eh, it happens. Or maybe I just miss... I just mistook the edge of that platform and went slightly too far. Oh, good lord. What the hell is this for? Ain't been using wall section. What? What is behind there? This better be something really good. exterminate these things because they are very uh, dangerous. I was very close. Can I stand on this or will I slide off? I can kind of stand. Okay, I was able to shortcut my way back to the spot that I fell. 
Oh, hello. Do that to get rid of them. Um, to the right. Catch. Up and up and up. Just playing this safe. second and just pop my finger because it was getting buried. Okay, all good. Alright. Boom. And what the hell is behind this door that's with that entire puzzle? The plasma beam. I love this thing. Cosmo Beam is always my favorite upgrade. Oh yeah, use the thermal visor, the whole thing is just overheating. Then you go to ice, it's frozen, slight little bit of heat, a little more heat, like, let's see here, oh, that's a weird hand motion you have to have for that, huh, just your ring figure down in, oh, that is, that is uncomfortable, She kind of hurts. <laughs> okay, but that's every single. That's all the beams. And I think I can go through every door now. Because there aren't any that require the. Right, they're immune to plasma. Because, duh, hot environment. What would a flying heat do? Nothing. Okay. I think I made sure to check out that room. Because, yeah, I probably would have gotten in there got into a bunch of dead ends that required the power beam, or the plasma beam. The plasma beam is by far the strongest beam. Wait, is it charged just... A charge of this is equal to a super missile. Uh, 
Okay. Which is like, I remember seeing uh, debates when I was little about people trying to argue who would be stronger. Like, one of those who would be stronger arguments. And it was Samus and Master Chief. And it's just like, um,. I don't think that would be much of a contest. And one that's in favor of Samus. Because sure, she could survive falling from orbit, somehow, multiple times. But Samus's weapons literally pierce armor. Like go straight through. like, yeah, what would she be able to do? She'd be able to freeze him with a shot or two of this if she managed to hit him with the plasma beam he'd, he'd just get disintegrated the wave beam would either overload his shield or shock them so bad they can't restore. And not to mention the super missiles, which are practically a nuke. Just without any of the fallout. Power bombs. Which I guess it also depends on which iteration of Samus you use because, um, if you use her dread version, there's not a there's a chance in hell that he'd be able to kill her. Because all she'd have to do is touch him. Come on, incinerate. Yeah, those things which take multiple uh, shots from super missiles. Only take two charged power beam shots. That's 
kind of crazy. Which I remember. Oh, jeez, what was it? What was the chief's armor even made of? Was it like just solid steel or something? Like it was basically like tank armor. Where's the secret platforms? But also there would be the issue of ammo. As far as on Chief's side, which would be, well, yeah, all of his weapons either have to be reloaded or have a very limited amount of shots. So if it's a prolonged fight, you would lose because the only thing Samus is limited by are power bombs and missiles. to break through the energy of the suit then he'd still have her to contend with in the zero suit which basically has a taser Yeah, it's just one of those things that's kind of funny when you start breaking up everything, because it's like, um... Yeah, one of these characters is insanely disadvantaged. Plus, she could just smack him in the back of the head. Mjolnir power armor has very, very big weaknesses. With one of them hilariously being water, because it's just so damn heavy, it sinks straight down. It's like the new Samus. Like, okay, I'll jump into that ocean and just... somersault through it for an hour. Without tiring.
which I guess there is also the thing of like Samus quite literally has nothing to lose. Which, again, depends on whichever timeline it, timeline it is for Metroid. Oh, wait, these are the Super Pirates, aren't they? Oh, no. Two types that would fight you. Aside from the elemental ones. Hmm. Hey, help stop. One of the interesting things for Metroid in general is just the like back on just normal stuff in the game, like with the Spice Pirates. How many casualties would it will it take for them to stop sending people after Samus? At some point, you just stop sending soldiers. Or just set like a silent detonation timer or something and get the hell out. Come on, come on. Which this one might be... Oh, I think this one's a beam upgrade. Nope. Except for the suit upgrade. And I don't think I got that until I fight another boss. But that actually has a blast race that can hit more planets. Interesting. Plasma. Plasma. 
Hell you. Oh, ice. Okay, let's see what happens to this one if I do a carpeting ice bomb. Did a good, a good chunk more damage actually. Let's see here. Yeah, I've done a one charge shot for ten missiles. Oh, that might not be worth it. Oh, hot. But I guess it's supposed to be something that can blanket multiple enemies in ice. So that's where it would shine. As if I hit multiple of it. Yeah, this definitely seems like a child to get an upgrade. As I remember, Bendizium. Doors open. Just getting this ready in case they throw plasma beam ones at me. No? Okay. Oh, yep. Upgrade. The flamethrower. of all four of the beam upgrades. The flamethrower is one that you have to specifically backtrack for. Alright, so I want to go from here, go to green. Then go down to red. And go through there. Take that pathway, get back up here. And exit out of the Metroid Quarantine? Or go through the path for the Metroid Quarantine and get that save. Ooh. In that case, I'd go down there and get the green. Go through the tube and cut through that way. Alright, let's see how this works. Yep, that's what you're supposed to do supposed to shoot it on the ground and it shatters every enemy. That's kind of insane. It's pretty freaking metal. Oh, wait, I can't go there anymore. a way to reroute that thing back to what it normally was. Ow. Get plasma field. Gosh, I 
I love this thing. It just incinerates enemies. Well, actually, no, it atomizes them. Not just incineration, because it doesn't leave anything behind. Chozo were majorly peaceful with uh, creating shit like this. Oh, okay, if I do that, it'll reposition the crane. So I didn't lock myself out of that pathway. Really? You know, I'm missing a few energy tanks. May as well save in here. Especially since I got another beam upgrade. And rotate that thing back to how it should be. Actually, stop the storming out there. So we're going to use lightning in a bit, or thunder, not lightning. I guess thunder is technically, in a way, the sound of lightning, but eh. eh let's just get into weird semantics. So I can move it from here when I want. That's interesting. I don't know why I'd do that, but... Interesting nonetheless. these bubble ones which shoot you higher. It makes the water exploration one in ball mode a little more fun, actually. There we are, go down here. Okay, good. So I know where at least one more of these are. I 
for the energy tanks. Which one I don't remember. Well, I think there's still one within the phase on mines that I haven't gotten. Which may be from the Omega Pirate, which I can now fight. Oh, wait, no, that's an Elite Pirate. Oh, that... That sent a chain reaction through the vents, killing all the enemies in the room. Okay, that's actually really cool. There we go. Any other invisible bastards? Doesn't look like it. So I want to go down up the red. No, I want to go this way. Thing. Yeah, because if I go down red, I'll be met by Phazon that I can't pass. At least I think that's the case. in here, or... Nope, just the ones that hang from the stones. Hello, goodbye. I've said it a few times, but I definitely want to try and get all the energy tanks. Just because, well, meta with me. Who can be pretty good. Quite the damage, actually. Okay, that's one down. Boom. Okay, yep, straight through here, drop down. Hi. Oh, you're, uh, thing is there. 
time. Just you're gonna be at low health. Slammed him into the ground. I think those guys are guaranteed to drop orange. Though I'm not sure. You know what? I can't say that for certain because I'm not sure. That's a lot of ice animals. I know exactly what to do. Oh, I know exactly what to do. Damn. Oh, that didn't go as far as I thought. Okay, I guess it stays as a ground hazard? So that's not really that great. Not against the ice ones, at least. It's amazing against all the ones. Uh, I can also destroy normal ones with a single shot from this. Eh. Yeah. I'm not gonna save because that was a lot of ammo. Yeah, the power beam is kind of awesome. Not power beam, um, plasma beam. Like those are those super reinforced ones. You imagine if you finally find something for this. Like, terrifying hunter. Like for Samus. You finally find something that gives her trouble. Then she finds something that allows her to destroy it in two hits. Those interesting things where if you look at it from the enemy's perspective, it's just this unstoppable force. Which they can't tell if they even harm.
I gotta perfect jump it? No, that doesn't seem right. Ooh, phase on, phase on, phase on. Nice, man. Okay. Looks like it would be from here. Okay. So, in that case, how do I get up there? This wall happened to be made out of. Interesting. It's another hollow wall. Do that. Don't know why that's spider ball track, but okay. Yay, missile. That was not easy. I guess it was kind of easy. Just took a bit of observation. Oh, regular burrowers? Really? Okay, let's see who's jumping. Uh, anything else in here? That looks like maybe a path up top. Doesn't seem right though. Okay, phase on mine's level three granted. Ooh, going down to purple. Is this going from elevator to elevator? Weird. Space power. Good job, buddy. You really got me. Um. Huh. Oh, right, there's a morph ball track in here. It's just there's a way to get behind that wall. I seem to remember there being something in here. Oh, it was under that mushroom. And I did not have the health for it.
There we go. Thankfully, the Metroid is still pretty easy to take down for now. I remember there being some tough ones. animation for them swimming through the air it looks so cool so if I go at the top that's the path forwards Will there happen to be anything underneath oh Interesting. Looks like falling makes me have to go the whole way back. Okay, okay. Yeah, just trying to secret hunt because this room feels really empty. Oh, right, it's probably a loading room. Oh, you don't say. Am I right next to it? No. Oh, right, and I think that's a hallway of phase on that you can't go through. Thank you, buddy. What are you? Bendosium. Hello there, how are you doing? Sorry, just noticed your message there. Hopefully I'm not too late seeing your message, because... Try to be vigilant about that, but I guess I got very absorbed in the game there for a bit. Soul recharge? Interesting. Would have thought this would have been a save room. Oh, 
Why did that full screen? Oh crap. I don't know. Source projector do not full screen. Okay, I have to make a new source projector. Because <laughs> I don't know how to get that off the full screen. There we go. Accidentally clicked the wrong button. Um, guess I want to land on that. Just jump straight over it. Yeah, that works. Invisible ones, huh? Oh, that's evil. Very smart, though. Kind of like that. I just had to do it once. I know the damage output isn't that good and hard, but... Yeah, it's something good. Okay. Those two are down. Hmm. This room seems like an interesting predicament. So that gets me there. I can then double jump here. Any platforms? No. Granted, good. Oh, that's a wave. Hello there, wave buddy. Oh, another one too. Wow. Given how that room looks, that's either a room for an item. Uh, oh, what are the things it could be? In Item, a save room, or something else. Cordite. Oh, I remember how this works. Hey! Nice. Just like in the frigate. Save room? Save room!
Okay, any info on any of these panels? Yes. Okay, I should not have just started running forwards. I need to make sure to check for space pirate data. Our mega pirate absorption system test results are in. Field tests indicate that the system is very effective against beam weaponry. We are alarmed at the field's inability to handle missile attacks, however. Science team is working around the clock to correct this critical design flaw. A mega pirate cannot avoid such a weakness in battle. Okay, so it's weak to missiles. Omega pirate life spawns are critically low. High levels of phase on exposure are causing rapid cell de degeneration in all test subjects. No subject lived longer than two decacycles in our simulations. Your lifespans must be increased to be cost effective. As we continue to absorb the development of Project Helix's elite pirates, it becomes increasingly obvious that these warriors will usher in a new era of space pirate dominance. They're incredibly resilient to damage, and their ability to transport and wield so many weapons at once makes them the ideal mainstays of our ground forces. Though they are not as quick as typical pirates, it makes a little difference. With a platoon of elite pirates in the vanguard of an army, of normal and flying pirates, we will have a near indestructible backbone that should turn the tide in any engagement. Phase on processing efficiency at maximum, production at 187%. Damn. Health alert, phase on radiation warning still in effect. I wonder if it's because you have a 187% production. Do not enter a phase on processing area without level 8 radiation gear. Prolonged exposure is 100% fatal. like a frozen pipe. Cased in frigidite shell. Exposure to extreme heat could clear the unit and restore function. Okay, that is a really... That is like super heated if it can melt ice that thick with one shot. at full health like just missing half a tank but I have all of my tanks well all the ones that I've found ammo is pretty high up god that looks cool okay I can scan it before start New creature entry has been downloaded to your logbook. Morphology. Omega Pirate, most powerful of elite pirate forces. Omega Pirate can become invisible to normal sight. It is vulnerable when cloaked, as all energy is drawn from defense systems. By exposing itself to Phazon, it can regenerate damaged tissue and organs. Considered the pinnacle of the elite pirate program, this enemy should be handled with extreme caution and maximum firepower. Okay. So when it's not in energy mode, blast it with missiles. When it's in energy mode, just shoot the hell out of it. I forgot 
how big he is, bro. Oh, wow, just the regular... Huh. Oh, I wonder. Am I able to... No. So much damage though. You're so far. There we are. Oh my god. A second debris. I wish I had a sprint, so I could get further. Easier to bait these attacks out. Okay, they are these. There. Got some damage in. bit of help there. Come on. Stop for one second. advancing and only the ground slams. Come on. There's that one. Those launchers are basically power bombs. Come on. 
There we go. Just invisible. Some damage. Didn't heal anything at least. Said weakness to missile based weapons. Staking out venom missiles, and I'm dead. This guy. Yeah, okay. But I've got to take out enemies that require me to use missiles on them. Oh, right, this way. I'm dumb. That's even less health than I had last time. And less missiles, I think. But now I remember how you work. Okay, yeah, it just takes two super missiles to break that. Kind of broke his AI for a second.
Oh my gosh, it keeps waiting until I'm firing. How'd that miss? Excuse me? We can it. That's a good chunk of damage that time. Okay, so I just need to go near him and power bomb. It just shatters everything. That's really good to know. Summon more than one type. Nope. Nope. Bad Omega. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Nope. Bad, 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 bad. I think I learned it the first time from uh, looking up how to even beat him. I remember him being a really tough boss the first time I played this. I can get him to slam down in one shot. That kind of oh, they take two of this. Huh. Come on. Slam. More health than I used up there. Uh, okay. Seven. Oh, I'm out of power bombs. That's not good. I'm not close to being out of missiles. Oh 
come on. That's two. Two to go. Yeah, you have got 30 missiles left, right? enough health to take a little bit of damage from guys. Ow! Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh. He's laughing. He's gonna be somewhere. There! Did it. Now dissolve into phase one. And give me my upgrade. The absolutely badass looking phase one suit. Corruption prevents damage from phase on radiation. Gosh, that's a cool looking suit. Okay. We're doing that, I'm just gonna... Oh, I'm actually getting some missiles back. That's nice. Did I forget to do this the second time? No, it just respawned that. Nice. for respawning something that I can only destroy by wasting this space. Oh, new Metroids. Vision Metroid. The ability to split into two forms. It's a mutant capable of splitting in two. Split endows the new creatures with a vulnerability to most weaponry. Effect is unstable, resulting in weakness to a type of weapon. The vulnerability appears to be random due to the chaotic nature of phase mutation. Nope, 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 nope. Get back. Get back.
get off. Go here, no. to the one that's weak to the power beam. There. Which, this isn't a... No, okay. Not considered a different type of Metroid, which is good. Alright. What you split it into? I think the only way to destroy these things outright is powerbomb them when they grab you. Uh, fire and ice. Okay. Fire one's the easy one to destroy. Because it's the highest damaging beam in the game. But the ice one takes the most hits. Can't wait to go to Pendrona, get one of the energy tanks, get a bunch of other stuff. Like, that's gonna be nice. Some amount of phase on like that. That looks so cool. Oh. Okay. Well, in that case, I know where one of the last two energy tanks are, and I may know where both are actually. Interesting, if they touch phase on, they explode. That was dangerous. Oh, wait, no, if I go to the very top here, I'm able to get out into the caverns. Though, if I make my way back through this area to. it was the elite quarters then I can break that one out of its containment oh no that's where it came from oh, where's the one that was contained it wasn't in the dynamo I don't think it was an Omega Research. 
Maybe it's an elite control? Yeah, I need to find the one that I can just blow up the access to. To bring it out and then fight it. But I guess I'd need a power bomb for that. out of because of that boss fight. And because I beat that boss fight with only one death, it didn't really reset the drop tables. Or the dynamic difficulty for the loot drops. So, I may not even get one by the time I get there. Well, I need the missiles. But in order to do this, I need one power bomb. Those are so ridiculously rare. I love this almost like evil color palette for Samus's suit. Like it just looks really good. Uh, maybe it was in the main quarry. No. Oh, in no, not in storage depot. Elite research. Yes, I think this is it. Ow. Yep, here it is. Boom. Oh, this is its own entry. Phase on elite. Elite pirate needs to confuse with energized phase on. Phase on charges pirates rely more on their wave pipe generators, opting not to carry the vulnerable plasma artillery cannons. Normally used by elites. The direct fusing of Phazon into their bodies provides a 
tremendous level of energy. The drastically lower lifespan that comes with this process is of little concern to the pirate research team. And of course you're able to absorb. You look like an even more screwed up version of Summon Skull. I have the swiping combo. No. Come on. Oh, this is for something. What really could this be for a secret fight? for an artifact. Artifact of the warrior. Okay, that makes sense. Wait, I think I have all the suit upgrades. Okay, now to go back through that way. save point, then go up to the town overworld. And take a path to get me to Fendrana so I can get all the items that are hiding there. On the wrong buttons. Okay. Oh, ice. Taking care of pretty quick me. Or effortlessly, I should say. By just blasting you with charge shot after charge shot until you die. Which, if I remember right, no matter the resilience of the enemy, a power bomb always kills them. Which is, yeah, pretty normal. of the ice. That's kind of nice. These dudes aren't tanky. But it was one and a half times health, health rather than, I think, double. If not triple. Don't have the ammo to do the electric ability.
Yep, another electric one. What's with all them? Last time it was all ice ones. This one charges up almost looks like one of those Tesla ball things. Like one of those, uh, how do I even describe it if people don't know? Um, was basically something that just was a blast ball with like a little Tesla coil inside if I remember right. And they were pretty cool. Because it was actually safe to, um, to touch the outer glass of it and not get shocked. Because I think it was like really, really thick glass. I forget what those are called. I just remember them as like a Tesla ball. It was weird, like, you'd get static electricity transferred to you, but not actual harmful. And when you would touch the ball, like, electricity would arc out to the point on where you're touching on the ball. But you wouldn't feel it, you'd just see it, like, arc out to where your fingers touch. It was... Just one of those things that's really cool and really weird. God, were those fun to play with. Okay, time to try a course of Andromeda Drifts. Not only for the relics that's there, which I do need to get. Or actually, two relics. There's two relics in Fendrana that I have to get. So, may as well go grab them now. Oh, and I can go into the Hall of the Elders and unlock that heat room. So, was there absolutely nothing down here? Yeah, absolutely nothing. Oh, I need to go back down into... I'll do that later. Yeah, when I go back up from Fendrana into... Yeah, when I go back up from Fendrana to Magmore, I'll go back down into the phase off lines. Because I forgot something. It's an item that I know where it is, and I know I'm not going for 100%, but. Or stuff you have a better chance of surviving.
Come on. I'm completely freaked out. Ah, there is a hidden platform. got in. Right, I found that platform because I saw the rain hitting it. Nice on one of those. Yeah, I'm gonna go up to the ruins. Go through the pathways that I haven't gone through. Get into the Hall of the Elders. Shoot the one gate that I haven't. Get whatever item that is. Which it may actually be one of the things. Uh, find the way up to the plant room. Hall the elders, I'm gonna have to go in there, kill the ghosts. Use that ammo recharge. Okay. I got a bit of a path. Stop spawning in here? Okay, there you are. These ones hit me wouldn't stun me for so long. Okay, that's two down. I did that with five left. That was running it a little close. Just a little. Is it only missiles? It's only missiles. practically out of missiles, so that helps. Okay, now to change the track to the red track. The 
which moves the statue. Yep, and has a Chozo artifact. God, I remember that one. Artifact of World. Nice. Let's go over to the magma pool. And to get into the sun chamber as well. Which I tried going from here and there was something indestructible on in the way, so I have to go this way. I think I already did that room. This is one I don't think I've completed because I had to smash the ground. No. Maybe that was in here. Let's do this. So not gonna show. Fine with that. somehow make them, like, despawn? Huh. Cool. Yeah, make sure to get rid of all of these, because they are major pests. I'm not allowed to get back into standing mode right there. Because, you know, Samus could definitely stand on that.
But again, that's how it was originally. Okay, that should be all the items in the furnace. And I need to still go this way. Okay. Yeah, I guess I managed to get those ghosts to despawn. Cool. Sorry for me being a lot quieter this stream. I'm just like little uh lower energy state. Reason being you didn't really sleep last night and only got like a three hour nap in today. Which happens. Sucks, but it happens. Oh, what am I seeing? Stop to my left. Oh, I've I've been there. Okay. Got the items out of here. I think. Rago. Which one of those was crawling spirits? Because it might be in the Orboretum. Or, no, it's probably in the sun chamber. Hold on. So, let's find it here. Log book. Artifacts. There's one that I don't know. Spirit. Cold cave stands up and draws Ed. Seek unseen entrance. Find artifact to spirit. Elder, maybe? Nope. So it's one of the two that I 
didn't get a log entry for. Weird. Oh, maybe after restoring a certain amount, then they unlock. But I remember there being one in that boss room. Okay, I'm gonna go this way first since I can actually do this stuff now. Oh yeah, the face on the suit didn't make me immune to lava. Did it? Nope. Huh. There is no immunity to lava in this game. That is interesting. That is a wall. Power ball. Chozo Lord. The power of our temple and the twelve artifacts has sealed an evil in the depths of this planet. However, the future is cloudy to us. A world of veils where dark apparitions flit in the shadows. Within this strange world, one image stands out in the mist, flickering through the landscape, wraith-like. It is a human. A lone figure shining in the toxic shadows. We Chozo do not know what it is, but our hearts swell with hope at the promise of that glowing light. We will place our faith in our shrine. We will be there when the light shines upon our land. These are quite literally the Chozo trying to... Test me to see if I'm worthy. Return to Impact Crater. Okay, this is the point where I'm going to turn off the hints. Because it will randomly just bug me to return to the impact crater to put all the things in, even if I don't have them. Okay. It's under display, right? Boot system off. It's for alerts. Oh, okay, yeah. It's interesting that X-ray visor actually shows them. Wait, is that it? Is that an energy tank? If so, I I know where all the answers are. And the last one's in Fendrana. Oh my gosh, it is! Huh. Magnetic track. It's not operational. Okay, good to know. Need to be right here. Close enough. It's 
second one's bonus armor. And in I go to grab my energy. Hell yeah. One E tank left in the entire game. And I know where it is. Ow. Frickin' crushers. Okay, that brings me here for another missile expansion. I wonder what's my item percentage? 77. How many more missiles are there? I know there can't be a ton of. a ton of power bomb tanks because why would there be or I don't know maybe there are maybe there are just like weirdly a ton of them Okay, I can't go that way, I have to go left. Well, this will give me a chance to get quite a bit of my stuff back. Oh, we found that. Oh, you probably got a maximum of 10 power balls. Because that feels appropriate. Okay. A mirror. I just examined a mirror. Oh, I could have sworn you used to be able to just blast them with fire and they'd incinerate. Maybe I'm thinking of a different Metroid game. I may be mixing it up with Other M, which had something similar. And you can shoot stuff at it, and it would disintegrate. Or like, catch on fire and then disintegrate or something. Yep, that was just a missile. There's one in there. Or no, that was the map data room. Anything in here? No, doesn't look like it. Nothing weird 
underwater. Nope. Okay. Yeah, this is a game that I could entertain 100%ing because it feels like, I don't know, it can't be that bad. The worst things seem to be like spider ball puzzles, which, eh, those ain't bad. Oh, wait, let me on. It lightly smacked me against the roof and did one damage. Why, thank you. Okay, yeah, then instead of going down, I want to go through and up. Right. There we are, those are done. Symbols have to be scanned. Cordite? Cordite. Okay, so that's two. I'm guessing the other two are on the pillars somehow. Oh, there's one. There's four. The reason why I guess they were on the pillars is it seemed like the most logical place to hide them in that room. Okay. Cries of this dying land echo in our ears. As we chose our watch, a great poison seep even further into the living pulses of the planet. Or er, into the living pulse of the planet. The dark energy sinks into the trees and the waters, devouring all life. Peaceful beasts die by the thousands. Some creatures survive, but their forms grow as twisted and evil as the force that fell from the sky. Many of these mutated monstrosities remain small enough to do little harm. But others grow enormous and threaten our very existence. One such beast defiles our sacred fountain, disgorging poison from its foul form, replacing pure flowing water with cascades of creeping death. Even in the face of such horror, we chose do not turn in fear. We are all that stands in the way of this great poison and it's our duty to contain it. Yeah, one way to definitely describe the Chozo is honor bound. Oh, these are sandstone. Smart stops you from power bombing it. Lost Fountain, time. yep. I think I 
remember this one being pretty tough. Yay, water's fine. Anything down there, actually? Uh, doesn't look like it. Both heat and x-ray scans are negative. Come on. Let's try. Let's try. That's one dead. Ain't good. Oh wait, I just realized I know where the rest of them are. I know where both of the hidden ones are. Huh. I may actually be finishing this tonight. And the roots have now disappeared, allowing passage through both doors. We yeah, after this one, I'm only missing, what, two artifacts? No, I'm missing four. And right off the top of my head, I know where number two are. So I'm going to go to Magmore North so I can get into Fendrana. those I'll go back I think there's like what three or four missiles in Fendrona that I can get now that I have the beam plus a well missile expansions plus an energy tank
appears that there's some enemies that still are only able to be killed by mess ones. Given the firepower that I have. Quite literal firepower too. Hello Magmore, goodbye Magmore. station. I think I've gotten everything from there. Yeah. In the pit, I think I've got everything from. I may not have, though. This is the Triclops pit. No. This is. That's what this room is called? I guess that. It's kind of fitting. Wait. Okay, yeah, that's fitting. Went in there, got the item that was there. This huh. Yeah, I think I got everything in here because I, what, accidentally blown apart one of the columns? But no, that was in a different room. Is there anything over here by the lava per chance? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Check this room because it seems a little weird. It literally could just be a loaded room. Okay, so I want to go straight through and to the right. Right in there. Yeah, sure, buddy, this thing's practically a rail gun. Yeah, that's kind of what this thing is. It's a rail gun, but of superheated plasma. Though I guess it wouldn't really be classified as one because it doesn't shoot an item out. Just pure plasma. Like it doesn't use like a coin or something. So yeah, nothing in here, yeah?
Could just be because the light's shining on it weird. Okay. So, I've got quite a few things I can do in here. Before I do any of them. Dead. Yes, I can destroy two yards. One charge beam now. Gosh, you just did so great then. That is so satisfying. Wait, was there an item under that water? I don't remember if there is actually. I'm gonna have to check. Doesn't look like this room goes down at all, but. Oh, it does. Is there anything hidden down here? Real snow, maybe so? Nope, doesn't look like it. Alright, I had to check, because you never know. I wonder if there's anything in here. Nope, okay. Just checking because even though that room was used for a puzzle earlier, could there is a possibility for it to have something. Yeah, now that I have the plasma beam, this is going to be so easy to go through here. Like, hello! You can't absorb shots from this beam. That's one of the crazy things. Might be able to slightly, but not really. Okay, let's look around here for any ice that I can melt. And I mean any. Because if I can melt ice, there's probably an expansion behind it. Oh! Wait, I just remembered something. There is a pillar with ice on the back of it. I think it was here. I actually remembered it! Oh my gosh, I'm happy I remembered that. Okay, so I think there's another missile in this room over here. I got the one from going on the spider ball track in that last room. I think I got one from the spider ball track in here. Wow, the flamethrower takes them down fast. Just uses a lot of ammo. But hey, sometimes that's the price you have to pay to just get rid of an enemy. Yeah, I went up there, got the missile from that. Plasma 
Morphine is the answer to everything. Unless the enemy is somehow immune to it. I think it's one of those enemies that can only be damaged by one specific thing. Shot to the back, and I just get incinerated. So uh, satisfying. That's not bad. Just take some time. Nothing there. No ice over here. I think this is the room that has ice on one of the roofs that I need to break. around here. No, I don't see anything. I think I'm all good. Well, for that section. Ah, it's that roof right there in the corner. Bop. Oh, power ball. Oh, right. I was looking at that through the top, but I couldn't figure out what that was. Because it just looked so weird. Uh, I don't think there's anything in Pendrana Canyon. Yeah, that was one of those one-off areas. I hope. I'm not going for 100%, so if I miss something that's in the canyon, I miss something that's in the canyon. Generally, I just want, like, all weapons and... Which I got. Like, all the weapon upgrades. As well as... All energy tanks and just whatever else I can score. There's one in the ship. No, I don't think I missed anything in the crash for again. Um, the lab though. I 
could have possibly missed something in the lab. I definitely missed something in the quarantine cave. Oh! There's a whole path that I never went down in the research entrance? That better not be the area map. I swear if that's the map room. That's a turret, probably. Okay. There was nothing blocking this. Oh. Phase aura pours the bind through phase on energy. Thermal imaging is required to detect the highest concentrations of radioactivity, which serves to bind the stones together. Imaging research is being conducted in the containment fault area. That's supposed to be how they taught you about the being able to see the weakness of the boss with thermal imaging. <laughs> Titan specimen is immobilized in quarantine cave. Relocation recommended due to increased violent activity. I'm mad. Extremely durable and blast resistant. Although armor-like qualities of the shell provide ample protection, thermal imaging can be used to detect weak areas in the casing. Improvements must be made to the shell in the event that these weaknesses are found by aggressors. Quarantine K restricted to blue level security. Authorized personnel permitted entry only after bioscan. I got the map after finding everything. The last room on this map that I found was the map room. Mm. Okay. I do have to go in here, actually, so I can get up to the Twin Spires. Grab the thing that they stole, go through here, and then exit out the left to get into the Quarantine Cave. I got turned around in one second. Oh, yeah, 
that this is when I found power or super missiles. We started using super missiles against everything. up and get rid of them for me, that's right. Okay, that's interesting. Yes, perfect, perfectly made hunters. Well, that one just shattered when I tried to freeze it. thing real quick. I destroyed both with one shot. Planetarium or observatory. If I go up, I can save. And yeah, I guess since I'm not going to be streaming tomorrow, I may be able to go a little later tonight. Which, if you want to know why I'm not streaming tomorrow, uh, I explained it in the Discord on either Sunday or Monday. Oh, no, it may have been like late Tuesday, early Wednesday, but yeah. If you look in the announcements and you check there... You will see the reason why I'm not going to be streaming this Saturday. It's one of those things definitely where it's like, uh, family is far more important. And I'm just gonna be, uh, making sure a specific person is fine.
Okay, now time to get the one that is in that tower. It's just kind of thrown up on entry. And awesome. Okay. So, what I gotta do is... This is the wrong tower. It's this one. Yeah, the one with the window cover. Large field zone attack space tower, energy rings attack weapon. Fluctuations pose the radion based outer casing structure produce damage. Oh, radion. Well, I haven't seen that in a while. Artifact of the Elder, third of twelve. Oh, I think I'm missing one. Like that I just don't know the location of. Really? Oh wait, there's another way in. in the thing. Yeah. Okay. So now I need to go out this way, down, and over the left to the frozen pipe. Back to the Thermovisor. Because everything here, for some reason, has no power left. And all the power was being generated by the Thermovisor? I guess it is a powerful Chozo artifact. Kinda makes sense. Kinda wish they would have become super heated for a second. That would have been a cool effect. Oh well. Oh no, security box! Whatever shall I do? Uh, right. 
right, yeah, I think this is where light comes back in. Yep. Oi. Oh, come on. There we are. A nice disintegration. Pendroma's Edge. That's one of the things. Okay, so we don't disintegrate under water from it. If I remember right, those water ones were able to be one shot by an ice beam. Eh, yeah, I can go this way. This was one of the areas that I needed the grappler hook. Interesting. Or I guess not grappling hook, but grapple beam. Okay, so I can get up. Yeah, I'm definitely excited to see what they are going to do for Prime 4, because if I was remembering right, it was rumored that this game was like meant to be something to get people really interested in the Prime games. So that there'd be more demand for 4. I 
guess I remember hearing that. It's like it makes sense. Oh. Power bomb? That feels weird to have at the edge of Fendrana. What? One of these quite literally said at the edge of Pendrana, right? Hold on. Artifacts. Nope, nope, world. Spirit. Yeah, tall cave stands at Pendrana's edge. Seek the unseen entrance at its top to find the artifact of spirit. I'm in the unseen entrance? Oh, wait, no, that's the scene entrance. It's over there. at its top. Tall cave at the edge. Unless it's talking about the frozen pike, which... Oh, frost cave. Maybe in here? Huh. Yeah, maybe it's not telling me exactly go to Fendrana Edge. That's exactly what, what it's saying. This would kind of be an unseen entrance. Drones reporting for mine duty must check in at control tower. Phase on Vein Omicron has the highest yield per cubic meter of all excavation sites. Impact core is estimated to be 800 meters from termination point of Phase on Vein Omicron. Hmm. There's another one called a cave. So it's possible that's what it means. Yeah, and this leads to it. Okay. You get there from Fendrana's edge. There is one up there. Perhaps. Oh, 
Oh, I see it. It's right there. Get a missile. Since I'm in the area of this, I'm just going to double check real quick to make sure I'm not making a miss. A mistake with how I'm reading this. No, oh, it's chosen one, not oh, artifacts. Spirit. A Benvisium Mall? What? Oh, there's a Benvisium Mall in one of these. that I'm supposed to look at. By using this, I should be able to see a door through one of the walls. So it was the other room. It was Fendrana's end. Okay. So I read it right. I was just looking in the wrong location. Of the room. Probably looked right at it and didn't notice. Okay. Just knowing with how situationally blind I am, randomly.
hurts. Like sometimes the press jump and Samus just trips over the wrong foot. This seems like it would be the most ideal thing for a Bendizium wall. It's actually stone, but no. It was in this room, wasn't it? When you look at it, you'd be able to see a door through the wall. That makes no sense. See, I'm at the highest point that I can be. That's well hidden one. Eleventh of twelve. So I'm missing what? Ten and twelve? And I know where one is. Joe rig operators are to report any symptoms of phase on madness immediately. Orphan Crash Site is an orange level security zone. Fun transmissions from the Orphan point to a massive security breach. All personnel must inspect their life support systems before reporting to the mines. So yeah, they found that artifact. No, they found two artifacts. And... Did nothing with them? I definitely want to go in here and get this item. Because there definitely is something in there. Gosh, I remember looking all over Fendrana for that item. I went front to back in this area like three or four times the, the last time I got it, and it gave me a headache searching for it. Thank you. 
Так. Disintegrating enemies. It's so fun. And I don't know why. This is just really satisfying. Oh, wait. If I want that power for that. Yeah, the power tank. Energy tank. Going to want to go back. Ow, that hurt. Because I think it was in this room. Wait, no. Ice runes used. Oh, it was in one of these areas. I saw it, I remarked on it. I said I was going there to get it. Oh, Frost Cave access, maybe? Maybe in the Hunter Cave access. Well, no, that's underwater. Chamber access, maybe? Could be that. Oh, I think this might be the room. Gravity chamber. Okay, gonna make a quick search here. Because I. Gosh, I know where it is too, but I just can't pinpoint it. Transport access. Okay, it's in transport access.
Okay, it's right there. Just going to be going back that way anyways. So that's perfect. Okay. Wait, is there more higher? Uh, yes, that's where I have to go. Back up if I fail that. Spell that jump. Okay. There's the final lead tank. is on the path to where I was going to the quarantine cave I'm gonna be going back here using the save station back through the ruins and up here into the chapel of the elders <laughs> oh, five missiles. That gets me up to 200. Search on Talon 4 is expanding into new areas. Pending stabilization of the Thardis Venture, we will expand in animation research to, ex to include other native Talon 4 materials. Taming of Thardis continues. Barring unforeseen setbacks, it can be installed on Phazon Mine, con Mine Patrol by Lotus Milestone. Up. 
Got 200 missiles, but I don't want to waste them. These things are crazy. They got six eyes. Okay. Straight through here brings me back into the courtyard. Got it. Which will put me directly across from the save room, where I can save that I have all energy tanks. Which is awesome. That or once you get enough, the last one is revealed to you. One of those weird things. Maybe you're just on your own to find two of them. I don't know. Which it really could just be a thing of not enough power. So yeah, I'll have to see. Let's see, I'll be missing two. I think. Oh wait, no, I'll only be missing one. Right? Yeah, because this is one of the question marks. So yeah, drop down and go left. That hurt a little bit. I should be able to be relatively safe from damage now, since I have, like, every single um, health tank. Quite literally, I have all the eight tanks. Which I wouldn't have been remiss if they, I don't know, replaced a couple of the missile tanks, maybe, with extra E-tanks. Powerbomb ammo, really? Hmm. Okay, so I know that one is. Oh no, that's correct. Let's go this way. That Chozo statue, which was frozen up here, it said something about I think extreme heat could cause it to melt. Yeah, I made sure to... Hmm. 
weird. See, all of those were flawless. Statue's hands seem to be frozen in place. again. Ba-boom. Artifact acquired. Artifact of Sun, ninth of twelve. And then I'm missing twelve. Which I don't remember where it is. Yeah, I'm gonna have to run back to the Chozo Temple. Which is perfect that the Magmore Covering thing's right there. And I will probably get the rundown of how, or the, of how to find it. What's my item percentage now? 88%. That's pretty good. And I've most likely picked up all of my bombs again. So let's here, what does that look like? Seven? So three of those. Those might be the last items. Wait. Those might be the last items, and I know I think I know where two are. They're in the phase on mines. Yeah, there's two in the phase on mines. Ooh, okay. Well, first things first, I need to go back up to the overworld. Maybe what's left. And if I manage to get everything except for three, like, uh, what they call them? Power bomb tanks. And I'm fine with that. Oh, no, that's eight. How many do I have? Do I have nine? Hold on. I think 
can check that through here. Is there no way to see the amount of these that I found? Bean combos. No. Huh. I know there's at least two things in the face off. One of the ones under the mushroom that I saw and pointed out and one of them was in that tunnel that I was going through before I ran into the Omega Pirate. Oh, I never went through the red door at the top of this. Where could that lead? Maybe to the final artifact? It might lead to the final artifact. If so, that's very lucky. Okay, so I'm missing two power bombs. Not three. Okay. Visible platforms time. Oh, that's a mean one. This one's match up. Okay, so it's probably two ten or two fifteen this one's. So 82 to 89. That's at 7% power. Three items left. Okay, so one missile tank and two. Uh, one missile tank and two power balls. That is really close. I may actually have to look up where the last couple items are. Wait, three? There's three items, I know where two items are. At least I think I do. I know one for sure. One I'm not so sure on.
Yeah, I may know where two of the last three items are. item progression, the story items like the power beam and stuff like that are going to come for more percentage. Go to the roots. Take that whole path around the left again to get down into the... Oh wait, no. Not going there. I am going to the... Oh god, where is it? Not the furnace. Not the Hall of Elders. Oh wait, maybe it was in the overworld. Oh, yeah, I think it was in Talon Overworld, not in the ruins. Makes sense for it to be in the ruins. Great tree chamber, light grove. There it is. Artifact. I accidentally walked in there for the first time. And given that I have to boost ball that, this is actually faster. Which I think the boost ball is instead of the speed booster. Just a puddle. Okay. This place is really pretty, though. Eh. 
And that is such a cool effect. When jumping by that, you actually get waterfall spray on that. Like you get missed by the waterfall. Alright, let's see which one I'm missing. Is there anything in here that I can blast? I don't think so. Alright. Let's let all of these power up. So I can see what I'm missing. You. Oh, better place to be returned. Here we go. You're actually powered now. Invaders mine in depth, the depths in their grave. Forge a path through the tunnel of great poison to claim the artifact of evil. Wait, really? It's in the Phazon mines. Huh. So yeah, that's another one that the pirates have. At least they have it within their clutches and don't realize. Though it is probably going to be on some sort of pedestal that they've been harnessing from. Which, I guess it makes sense for them to harness energy from them when they have limited energy supplies. of the items are going to be down there. Huh. Well, in that case, that path that I saw may not be for an item, but for an artifact. Huh. You go that way to get into Magmore East to easily Oh uh, wait, where's the other one for Magmore? Oh, Chosen Ruins, Chosen Ruins. So I want to go that way. Go down into there, then do that for phase on lines. Got it. Blue straight. Down to the right. Jagan, sorry for just like pulling the map up like crazy. here. Yeah, 
just seems like I found everything that could be around here. Frickin' mushrooms. Okay. Bam. And bam. Gosh, and again I have to say, but I just love the music in this game. Oh, this is why I can stand up. Really? Am I not able to go back through that? Oh, hello. Interesting. Is there no way for me to get up there? Oh, that sucks. That's a one-way trip. All right, in that case, I have to go through the space pirate ship. Probably gonna be attacked by that freaking underwater creature again. Anything around here? Not that I can see. I don't know, that feels like something where there'd be an item in there. Ah, oh, well. I wonder if this was still like... incinerate them underwater. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty deadly. Pretty deadly indeed. Oh, it ran into me. It's like, why the hell did I take so much damage? I forgot they do that if you don't get a perfect one shot on them. Okay. 
see right here. Uh, underneath. Nope, doesn't look like it. It's scannable to show that there's destructible. Power bomb to make sure. Okay. Checks. So that doesn't only hit those things, it sets them on fire underwater. Like, that's thermite levels of scary right there. Around, see if there's anything next ray. Nope. But yeah, just fair warning, I'm gonna be going in and out of X-ray a lot in here, because I may have missed one item. I'm not sure what item, but it feels like that might be the case. Maybe not, though. Huh. Gee, I think as far as my scans go, I'm only missing the last few enemies. Meta Ridley and then the boss gauntlet. Coming. That one like shorted out my entire thing. Weird. The entire HUD got shorted. I'm not going backwards, am I? Okay, no. I know I have the super that can for me here because it was an energy tank. And I got all those. Some life curve. I got the stuff from there. Because I think I got everything from there. 
Phase on mind. Can I have been here, maybe? No. Okay. Never know, there might have been one in the elevator room. Though maybe it's nine power bombs maximum and not ten. In that case, if the artifact counts as one of the items... Then I'd only be missing one thing. Well, after fighting the... locations that I think there's stuff... I just wonder if it was like a sneaky item under a mushroom. Alright. Oh, I can. Boink. It feels like there should be an item in this room. That's probably why there isn't. Because it would be a little too obvious. Let's try my tried. This area feels like it could be something. But I don't know. Oh, this room maybe? No. It's a little crazy because it's like they're digging underneath where the Chozo stuff is, but they're not able to get into it. Like, how advanced is that shielding? on over here that I can get in. Yeah, whatever I'm looking for, it has to be opened by phase on. Or I have to go through phase on to get it. So I can just go straight for the door. Because Shadow Pirates don't have fast means of attack from range. Is there possibly something in here? No. Oh, it would have been 
it would have been shown earlier anyways. Yeah, if I go to the very top, that brings me up to Magmore. I don't know why. This feels like it should be a secret. Hmm. here that I can see. I got the one of the warrior. Anything down below me? No. Above? No. Okay, keep going. Save room here. It's weird to be easy to outrun Metroids. As long as you're not hunters. Because those ones are ranged. Hello there, how are you doing? The reason why, so, the thing for that is just like, uh, overly adult, like explicit type stuff. SFW, it's not safe for work. It's in here. Okay, so it was one of these items. I, 
I try to keep stuff relatively clean. Yeah, you know how some people can get. Okay. Yeah, there's an item down here. Can't believe I actually remembered that one. Okay, what am I at? 91%? What? This item gave me seven percent. Oh, that makes no sense. Okay. Just gonna run back through here to get to the elevator. Hunter Metroids. You know, what was about here? This could be a quicker way out. Hello. No. So the reason why I don't just do that to all of those regular Metroids is because... Well, a lot of them that... I'm just not wasting time on split apart and decide that they're not going to be able to be damaged by any abilities except for very, very specific ones. Like they'll change to a different color after splitting. is more of a chore to take down than anything else. It's 
Especially on this difficulty. Well, I don't know if there's a difficulty higher than hard on this. If you haven't seen much of this game before, um, these are specific enemies that I'm only able to damage with specific beams. And these ones are only able to be damaged by the slowest beam, which is the ice beam. Yeah, it's the slowest. It does the least amount of damage, if I remember right. However, it's able to freeze enemies in place, allowing you to shatter them with one missile. Unless it's those guys because they're immune to everything except that beam. So it's like, go freeze one, shoot a missile, and it'll bounce off them. Yes, okay. Yeah, I'd say 91% of the items isn't bad for not doing a 100% run. Which, if I'm familiar enough with the Metroidvania or Generally, for Metroidvanias, I love to 100% them. But this one, I'm just not that familiar with. One of those games that I had picked up and put down multiple times and beat once? Which the uh, next Metroid game that, I, that I'll be playing on stream is actually kind of similar vein, where it's one that I've only beaten once. Which uh, next one's going to be Super Metroid. Gosh, 
door after door after door. Okay. Yeah, I don't know where the last 9% of items are, but... I should be more than ready to take... to take on Ridley. Close the final cell. Though I may actually run out of missiles doing those. set to go to yellow. Don't you dare hit me, Metroid. through this pathway so many times. So really nobody down here. Nope. Hmm. Right, so I want to go into the ruins. And come out the other side. Run to the center, and then run to the temple. Ruins is above and behind me to the left. Okay. No x-ray left. Or no x-ray in there. Oh, 
there's probably a couple items in the ruins that I missed and I'm and I forgot about. But eh. No need to use that safe station. Gosh, I can't wait to see the ending stats of this and see how many times I saved. So that's probably going to be kind of uh, crazy. I've saved at every single opportunity that I have. Which is normally how I am because I don't like losing progress. Okay. And you go on. Okay. Yeah, I'm about an hour over where I normally go, but yeah. Yeah, I'd prefer to start the next stream off with the main game rather than stopping. Like, then stopping right before the final boss is here. I know as soon as I'm done, I'm going to be wiped. That's usually how it is. After I click off the stream, I usually just all of a sudden get super tired. Okay. Time for Meadow River. One of the best damn things in this game. No 
new creature entry has been downloaded to the logbook. Morphology. Meta Ridley. Genetically enhanced Ridley metaphor. Reborn and evolved through, through pirate technology. Meta Ridley is a fearsome enforcer. His armored hide is extremely resilient. Same for the chest, which has thinner plating. Pirates have used a number of potent weapons to the creature, including a multi-missile system, kinetic breath weapon, Meson bomb launcher, and ultra thermal flame strike projector. Meta Ridley is also a formidable melee combatant, making any sort of engagement a risky proposition. bombing runs, aren't you? Remember, once you get to a certain point, it stops flying. And it actually becomes a little tough. Going for a second bombing? Alright, buddy, come on. Oh, and he's down. Okay. Got some help. So good to time that. Oh my gosh, he's running through every single super missile I shoot at him. Whoa! Bring in lasers with it this time. Ow. Honey, it's going in for a third for a second there. Come on, Ripley. Oh, he's got so much health. Okay. I think we can have a good chunk in hard, but not this much. Smoking. Will that force you to do a dive bomb? Without laser. Yeah, 
Yeah, that does practically no damage. Which I remember one time accidentally jumping off the platform and it's, it is instant death. Get him up here. Melt. It doesn't seem to do as much damage as it normally does. Well, of course, because it's like three times the hell. Plasma Beam's pretty good for him. That looked like he was charging up his laser while moving. Yep. Come on, buddy. I actually hit him once. That's interesting. I think he was going for a third one there for a second. Wings destroyed. Okay, he looks kind of cool with thermal. Yeah, only way to hit him is when his mouth is open. Oh, a tail whip. I forgot about that move. Wow. Hey, buddy. Ah, so that's how this one works. Come on, man. Buddy, beam me.
up and fire until he moves back. This fight is just kind of annoying in hard mode. But this is slightly more, slightly more damage. We gotta do this, and as soon as I notice some rear in the back, I'll charge up the other one. You can actually get out of his way. That's interesting. I didn't know that you would be far enough back that that couldn't hit you. Huh. Okay, no, I can't switch buttons and do it. Good to know. Okay, so rapid firing is faster than using charge shots for this. Good to know.
Come on, buddy. After the tail swing, maybe the perfect one for a super nice one. I'm just going to have to use the power bomb. All 210 missiles. Shatter his chest. I think this is the final phase. Right through, just more of the same, just faster. Oh, wow. Actually, more with lasers. Doesn't roar after the tail whip anymore. No longer taunting. Come on, Meta Ridley. Okay, you're doing even more stuff now. those ones I have to more fall it. Okay, more fall. Okay, that doesn't work. Ow.
You're kidding me. That was so long of a fight. Oh, that is horrible. I'm gonna give him one more shot. This time we won't waste any like missiles on using flamethrower or I'll try and be more careful with that. This is not going to be an easy fight. Gosh, I was doing really good until he started getting really fast. Cutscene, please. Okay. Yeah, charge shots are fine. I'm actually seeing this health go down with each shot. It's crazy. Making good progress on his health this time. Okay. Oh wait, I have to be scanning. Uh probably won't be hard once he's like in his final phase. Like where he's actually on the ground. First part of this battle, I think so. Okay, under half already. That's really good, actually.
Hunter wants to get rid of some of his health. Should be permanently grounded soon. Yeah, I think he becomes grounded once he's at a quarter. Or just slightly less. I'm getting him to the final bit. In under half the time that it took for me fighting it in that phase. So I ultimately killed him. until he is back. Oh, great. damage right there. And I'm practically full on health. Okay. Maybe you try and get behind him so he tail whips. Yeah, it seems to be doing quite a bit better. So 
so hard to get damage at. Literally, is this exhausting to fight? I can't even imagine what the final boss is like. I got three of those. Ooh. Okay, you can time it to stop his dash. That does a lot of damage. That's the best time. It's a super missile. Good thing had it charged. Come on, my red leg. This one? Okay. We had two going. Okay, it breaks a little faster now. Gonna try and dash me. Okay. Don't mock on, just fire me.
Okay, that's some more. Oh. Just too late. Oh, is he just gonna spam dash now? Dead. Open wide. What is this about when it just harmlessly explode against them? be able to do while he was dashing, I can't do anymore. doing this again. Oh my god. Took you guys long enough to zap him. Not yet. Going back to my ship. I'm saving. If I remember right, in the original, you had to immediately go into that. The way back was blocked, and you couldn't go back. Whereas in the remaster, they made it so after the Ridley fight, you can go back. Yay. God, he was just a tank. That was what, like over half an hour a try? But seriously, if I had died there against him, I would have just said, Yeah, I'm gonna be. Continue on this on the next stream, but hopefully I'll be able to complete it tonight.
back. Impact crater. Oh, there's a there's a save point in the impact crater now. I completely forgot about that. Wow. Now it looks like if I want I can stand there to go back up. Lizards? Lumigak. Phase on charged reptiles. Natives of Tone 4. The Lumigaks travel in swarms to increase their odds of survival. They absorb and radiate phase on energy, making these swarms a threat. I remember these swarms were how you were supposed to get all of your items and health back up to Ridley. You're basically just supposed to grind it. Vision mesh fluids. You know what? I didn't accidentally set to. Good. Where? Probably the original. Yeah. So this area looks really cool. some pretty cool music to it. Are you kidding? They're respawning. Oh, that's awesome. Missile recharge station, okay. Get rid of them for now. Probably running low on power bombs already. Uh, still got five.
There it is. The Croc. Metroid Prime, highly evolved, Phazon producing life form. The operation known as Metroid Prime is a source of Phazon, making it immensely powerful. Genetic flaw makes it susceptible to certain weapons for brief periods. Only its head is truly vulnerable. Other attacks are a nuisance. Offensively, Metroid Prime has a number of natural and mechanical weapons at its disposal. These include Ultra Frigid Breath, Multi Missiles, Snare Beams, and particle wave projectors. Its massive strength and barbed carapace make it lethal in melee combat. Recommended maximum firepower when engaging this enemy. And it's taking damage. Okay, yeah, that's not worth it. Treated one layer. We're gonna go for the slowest thing. Noise. Back to power. Good. What? There goes. I don't feel knows it's for no super missiles. Producing them, I'm gonna keep destroying them. Okay. 
Okay, we're on to the next set. Because I can actually catch you on fire with the boss. It's a damn good time. Point in your power. That's cool. Ice. Well, let's see what this does to you. It actually throws you. That's interesting. The ice wood is strong enough to actually freeze it. Time is nowhere near as bad as it is. Like, as far as how long this is going to take. Maximum firepower is recommended being like just use your crazy shit. Like, just use the missile hole to make stuff. Okay, I'm actually I have overhealed but it's done so.
Yep, now it's gonna start just changing the level. Ran like three times in a row this time. Oh, the damage, the shots being reflected, actually damage. I didn't know that. This must have been actually doing most damage to it. Okay. This isn't bad for my first run of this. Time to actually square off against this thing. It's called the Phazon Ghost. Metroid Prime, the core essence of Metroid Prime. It's again indicates the Phazon energy form. And vulnerable to all conventional weapons. Only attacks from a Phazon used on cannon will damage it. It generally spills a Phazon when it attacks. It uses the Fuel Gear 6 Phazon weapon system. Entity can also spawn Metroids to assist it in battle, rendering itself invisible when it does so. There it is. It's the one with the small map visor. Thermal. Let's 
Spawning Metroids. Normal? Yep, normal. Last of the time. Okay, that's just me. Give me missiles when missiles are not useful. got an extra energy tank back. Make you pull the face. No. There we go. I don't know why for some reason it stopped spawning things face on.
Oh my gosh, I was actually hitting it. and need to look at you. Oh, one more hit, I'm dead. Don't start spawning the Hunter Metroids, I was fine. Okay, so I'm going to need to keep the Ice Beam. Take one more shot at this unless it's like very, very abysmal. There goes an energy tank. That's fine. It tapped me out of the air. Really? That was so bad. It went directly in front of me. So I'd bump into it and fall. Okay, that's not much of a sacrifice to just jump through there.
but I know this time if it goes into ice mode, always try and hit it with the ice super missiles. Or whatever it's called, the ice trigger? Ice spreader, that's what it was. Frost spreader, whichever. Not immediately trying to Quite a bit better than last time because I actually know it's patterns now. Go to the sides of the can. I guess it might. Hmm. That was one more chance. Next. Yeah. Jeez, that does damage. Sometimes they're hard to find. Yeah, since I've done it, I probably should be getting some better stuff here. I think it's... Huh. I think it's attacks got crossed. It's crazy how this one goes from being the least damaging to the most damaging. Final phase. So I think I got like four entities back last time. Which I have to say, this is a pretty unique final boss. So, I have to say, if the final phase of it didn't do that thing where it just stopped spawning the phase on randomly, I think I may have been able to do it on the first try.
Oh, I just keep trying to do that. Oh, wait, you're trying to energy cycle. I forgot that one's like your main thing. It still is a type of Metroid. Really tough. more damage with the normal shots with this thing than I do with the abilities. Yes, please. This is to give you a second just to catch your breath. There's nothing around here to kill you with, though. Okay. Now for the hard part. Only one of them? Oh, I got some rotten up there, didn't I?
Come on. Going back to normal. Keep in this so he doesn't start doing the crazy thing. I think it's because I tried to predict his next change. Heat signatures now. That was a flawless crap. Okay, so it's once it reaches his half health, it does this. Well, maybe it's just an enemy chance thing. Just don't even know. They have the hyper mode thing that they did in three in this, but yeah. Just camping on the spot at Which could be because I'm not just running straight forward at Oh, 
going. So it's a good thing it wasn't doing that, and I'll start doing that. There you go. Oh wait, this is just uh, normal. I think I accidentally had my shot the fuck back at me. Come on. Only two more of these. Okay, I don't know where my quest keeps trying to fall down. There. Maybe one more of those. Uh, that's going last for raw. Die, 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 die. Explanation for losing that suit. Not just that suit, but a good chunk of her abilities. The suit literally sucked them out. Create a collapse imminent and factory immediately. I remember there was supposed to be, like, from behind the scene stuff, like, doing research on the game, that there was actually supposed to be an escape sequence there. However, they were actually rushed for this game and weren't able to put it in at time.
can't wait to see what they do next. Cause like that's a damn good remaster. Okay, so, yeah, it's about two and a half hours after I normally end off stream. <laughs> and I was thinking of bringing up so much time. So all this is going through to give me my rank. I'm gonna see if I can't find someone. Might get a little bit of doubling audio for a second. Okay, I got that quick enough. Uh, who's online? Stars on. Nope, she's taking a break for about an hour. Okay. Busy is on. Yay, Busy's actually live. Let's see what the rank is. Anyone percent? 14 hours. No extras unlocked in the main menu. Oh, cool. Finish the game, resuccess all again, you'll start a new game. Yeah. Nice. So this actually add a new difficulty? So if they added something like dread difficulty to this, that is just no. Okay, no, it's just casual, normal, and hard. Cool. Now I have to check to see what the new extras I get for. I got some new concept. Ooh, nice. As well as soundtracks. songs I didn't have? Oh yeah! 
Well, the last six songs are ones I didn't have. Because I hadn't gone through in hard mode. I'm guessing there are unlocks for going through in casual. Interesting. Okay. So... I'm going to be reading out to Vizzy here. And hey, for those who are in here and uh, stuck around for a bit, or, you know, just we're in here live, thank you very much. That is our raid message. And I hope to see you guys again soon, as well as for those at the end of the VOD. Thank you. No, wait, no, I usually do that after I read. <laughs> so, for those at the end of the VOD, thank you so much for watching all the way through, and I hope to see you